Alright, thank god. I've been trying to record for the last hour, but... <laughs> um, I, I did record actually just a little bit. But, my downstairs neighbors were deciding to have a... A dance party or a karaoke party or something, which is typically fine. But they were being very, very, very loud. And my next door neighbor didn't like that, so he was banging and playing music even louder. So that was fun. That's what I've been listening to for the last hour. I was literally right here, and my next door neighbor was playing loud music, and the neighbor below me was playing loud music, so I was literally, like, surrounded by music. And I couldn't record. Our scout ship has returned. Oh, shit. Let me turn that down. Okay. Scout ship setting sail. So this is my first time back in um, Sacramento in my home. I don't remember what I was doing. Return to Titania. Oh, oh yeah, we have we have the mother, the serpent mom now. Hey Eleanor, I was wondering, do you think I hurt Medissa saying that stuff to her back there? I suppose you might have. About her dead but daughter. I was the exact same things you were. Losing a mother. It's always a tragedy. I'm glad you stepped in and stopped her. Thanks. <sighs> that Eleanor. I swear, she feels way more responsibility for everything than she needs to. You think we need to worry? What if she pushes too far and erupts with malevolence? Malevolence is born out of many things. A prideful ego, the self-righteousness that turns a blind eye to one's inner contradictions. Eleanor is different. She's mindful of her ego and strives to confront her inconsistencies of character. She has a purity of heart that won't be tainted by the emotions that create malevolence. No other quality is as essential for an exorcist. So she's probably okay? For now, at least. But human hearts can be fickle things. Who knows what the future holds? Eh, I doubt you got anything to worry about. For most exorcists, purity is a construct of the Abbey's teachings. <laughs> but Eleanor, she's the real deal. <laughs> she's not your average exorcist, I'll give you that. Purity is handy for any exorcist. But more than that, it's a rare and precious temperament for living. Everybody's got an ego and certain internal contradictions to some degree. Facing one's own ugliness in an honest manner is never easy. To be a normal human is to live carrying malevolence. It's just how much you let it control you that varies. I guess malevolence might just be a fact of life, huh? But Artorius can't accept that. Okay, cool. Ah! Okay, um... Which one's fire? Which one's fire? Oh! I think I was right. I think it's up, isn't it? Never mind, doesn't matter. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good... So since I am back... Uh, I don't even know where to go. Since I am back for the first time... Where's the port? What's the quickest way to the port? I, it's been literally so long. Um, huh. Look at all these side things we can do. Magilus, Menagerie, and Motion. Lafisa and the Ancient Remedy. Joyful Nordal. Jeez, I, I am actually having a lot of trouble figuring out. Is the dock through here? This is Helloe. The Helloe's... I think there's a dock in Hell of These. It's been so long. Yeah, this is the right way. Well, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Let's slip through town and head for Titania before that changes. Okay, cool. That was where we were supposed to go. That was a lot easier than I than I expected. I'm happy. Well, we're gonna watch a bunch of cutscenes about this mom, and I'm sure what's her face. So this is your secret hideout. Once I get free, he won't stand a chance. You all had better sleep with one eye open. 
Look how worried I am. Welcome back! That's Kamoana. <sighs> She's the same age as Diana. Did the Abbey really turn someone so young into a Therian? Dessa, please, would you be able to talk to her? Is this a trick? Kamoana may be a Therian, but deep down, she's still a normal little girl who misses her mother. I can't do anything to console her, no matter what I try, but if it were you... You okay? You can call me Medissa, all right? Do I scare you, honey? A little, but not as much as Velvet and Dial. But don't you think I'm scary? I had a bad dream earlier. My mommy said I looked scary and that she... She didn't want me anymore. She would never... Your mother would never think that about her daughter. But how do you know? Because I'm... I'm a mother, too. Mothers always love their children, no matter what. No matter if we die. No matter how the world changes. There's nobody who loves you more in the world than... than... It's okay. You don't have to cry. I hope Kamawana and Medissa won't have to feel so lonely anymore. Yeah, trying to stop the waterworks gets old fast. Listen, if it's not too personal, was your mother, uh... She's dead. I lost her when I was even younger than you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. It just means we've got things in common. So no feeling sad and alone, okay? Oh no, I'm fine. I don't feel lonely or anything, I swear. What's gotten into you? You're so strange sometimes. N no, I'm not. Eleanor, I'll have you watch over Kamoana and Medissa. Yes, of course. I'd be honored. Thank you. Are exorcists supposed to be so polite to a grand poobah of calamity or whatever? Sh sure why not? Besides, the demon lord ought to not trouble herself over such trivialities. Velvet, Grimoire's calling for you. She says to bring Lafayette and meet her at the observation tower. Got it. We better get going then. Okay, so I never want to hear Kamuana's voice again. <laughs> that actually was not as bad as what her voice has sounded like so far. Um, she it's it it has sounded worse so i don't know maybe 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 the voice actress finally stepped in and said hey i'm not gonna do this dumbass voice anymore or at least i'll do a little a little bit less um ear bleeding um levels where are we supposed to go the observation tower observe ob observation tower i'm pretty sure Oh, even though I've been in here a million times, I never 
can traverse this area. It's still a little bit too big and a little bit too winding for me. Hey, do you all have mothers? Well, everyone does. Just about. Maybe not you. After hearing that Velvet, Kamawana, and Eleanor all lost their parents, I just got curious. My mother was a strict, frightening woman, but she died a long time ago. I see. I have no parents either. But the wicked witch who took me in said I was born from a peach that floated down the river. <laughs> Coming from you, I'd almost believe that. A and you, Aizen? We Malakim are formed from untainted mana. Sometimes humans are reborn as Malakim, but they retain no memory of their previous lives. In other words, we don't have blood relations like humans do. I see. But you have a sister. By the time I was aware of anything around me, I was already tethered and being called number two. I suppose having no mother means I don't have any memories before that. I told Medissa that losing a mother is painful, but I can't know how painful it is. Go easy on him, Aizen. He's just a kid. I'm just telling it like it is. But listen to me, Lafi said. You can share deep connections with other people, even if you don't have a biological family. Malakim, too, can form precious bonds, true friendships, even family. That's right. Your words wouldn't have stopped Medissa if they weren't true in your heart. You really think so? I'm sure of it. It's far better than being a witch born from a. <laughs> Friendship with a dog, a monkey, a pheasant, and bien foo. I hope he's right. Oh. Now I I think this is all very sweet. I don't agree that one hundred percent of the time mothers love you more than anyone else. I don't agree with that. Um what what's her name was saying before. Um it can be true, it can be true often, even, but it's not always true, but it is true that um, in a healthy relationships, mother's love can be quite um, strong, which is awesome. I think it's... What way is it? Is it this way? Um, that goes to basement. I don't... I shouldn't go to the basement. I should go the other way. Me personally, uh, I actually went 10 years of my life um, unable to speak to my mother. And after we met up, after 10 years, <laughs> um, it was as if 10 years didn't even pass. It was kind of incredible. Um, but that was just the power of mothers and daughter relationships, I guess. Um, yeah, the in healthy relationships, the bonds between parents and children are quite amazing. Fathers, too, because I was raised by my dad, and I'm so close to him. It's all thanks to you, the construction of our hideout is proceeding so smoothly. About that retractable ventilation shutter. Please, let me make a new one. What? Why? We already installed it, and it works just fine. When they move, it makes this unbearable squeak. I can hear it every time the wind blows. Oh, come on. That's nothing. Besides, anything we install is going to rust up once the sea breeze gets to it. More importantly, I'd love it if you made us a nice big pot and a frying pan, too. Not happening. I can't focus with that incessant squeaking. I can't work under these conditions. Fine. You can make a new shutter. But make us a pot and pan while you're at it. Can I also fix that autonomous hunter killer anti personnel spinning blade engine I made the other what? day? What? That too? But you said you were satisfied with how it turned out. I was at first, but when I thought about it, I realized I forgot to install an off switch. So, can I fix it? God, yes! Fix it before it kills us all! Great. Okay. Shutter first, then. Spinning death machine first! <laughs> Was that it? Was that... Okay, is Grim up here? It was like a watchtower, isn't it? No. I went the wrong way, but I got a bunch of souls out of it, at least. Um... Actually, I was just texting my dad today, 
and he and I got into a fake fight. So, you know, banter. We He and I bantered at each other um, because I guess we are supposed to go this way. Um, I was going to... So, he lives in Texas. I live in, in Sacramento, and he has properties over here, but he needs someone to watch his properties, and I was going to... I, I do that for him. Um, I was going to drop some paints off at one of his properties for these painters to use and he texted me last minute and said never mind don't do it don't don't go to Home Depot um, I'm gonna have I, I just hired a guy to do it and I, I, I teased him and I'm like why, why'd you hire a guy to do it and he's like this guy has broad shoulders he can do it I'm like I have broad shoulders I can do it if you're not related by blood oh good question a very long time ago I was born into this world from an earth pulse point up on a sacred mountain. I remained in that place for a long while. And then one day, she was born from the very same earth pulse point. Before we knew it, we had wound up living together under the same roof. Are two Malakim always siblings if they come from the same earth pulse point? No. The other Malakim were born there, but I never felt like they were my family. But something, I don't know what, was different with her. If she was sad, I'd feel sad. And if I was happy, she'd be happy too. Past life? She can be abrasive. But when she smiles, it's like nothing else. I swore to myself that whatever happened, I would protect her. Past life? I made a pendant from a stone on that sacred mountain and gave it to her as a lucky charm. Of course, she just wears it as a necklace. And your pendant? Did she give that to you? She had the same idea I had. She made the pendant herself and gave it to me as a good luck charm. Without either of us having mentioned a word of it beforehand, we each gave each other pendants in the same shape on the very same day. That's when I really knew that what I had felt all along was true. We were brother and sister. Aww. Is that her in the picture? Yeah. It's a self-portrait she drew for me on the day I left home. Did you draw her a picture of yourself? No. I don't exactly have an artistic side. Well, I'm sure that if you looked inside her pendant, you'd find a portrait of the person who matters most to her. I hope so. Yeah, and it would be nice if it was you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was cute. I am going the right way. The cutscenes are showing me. I'm going, yeah, it's up this watchtower, right? I just went up the wrong one, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. This doesn't seem right. Oh, this is totally right. Okay, cool. So, I, when I went to um, Anime Expo, we went to a Tales of Gathering, and there were at least, at least five Aizens. <laughs> ah, there you two are. Hi, teacher. One other Magi Lu. made progress deciphering the book? I have indeed. It turns out there was a second counting song. I've already transcribed it. Would you read it aloud for us, child? Okay. Um, when the eight malevolences overflow, in the culmination of mankind's despair, Enomenot will bring an end to all peoples and restore them to time immemorial. What? Four Empyreans shall wield a wrathful sword and cleave the great devourer, two asunder to sleep beneath the earth as scarlet moonlight illuminates the scarlet east. Scarlet moonlight. The nameless Empyrean hath one heart. The nameless Empyrean hath one body. Oh, yet more delightful material to keep us awake at night. If I'm understanding this right, it's discussing the specific nature of Enominat? That's what I believe, yes. When the eight malevolences overflow in the culmination of mankind's despair, Enominat will bring an end to all peoples. So, when the world is at peak malevolence, Enominat will use that power to bring an end to all. Shit. Is that He's going to wipe out all of humanity? Is that what the Abbey is after? Is that why they've been trying to bring back Enominat? No. Artorius is not that kind of man. His two primary ideals are the many over one, and the restoration of order through will and reason. He sacrificed Lothi to protect this world, 
not to eradicate it. You mean that's who he is as far as you know, yeah? People change, Velvet. Perhaps the Shepherd gave up hope. Maybe he lost faith in mankind. Fools prone to sin, endlessly generating malevolence. He's not like that. If that's all true, then what point was there in Luffy's death? Is there anything else in that book? Yes and no. This copy itself is incomplete. There ought to be further pages, but they're missing. For now, I've done all I can. There must be an original somewhere, right? Without it, I doubt the Abbey would be plotting Inominat's revival. We can be sure they have complete understanding of their Empyrean's nature. But this was the only copy in the Royal Villa. If the original is out there, who knows where it could be? <sighs> it's getting pretty late. Why don't we call it a day? Yeah. Oh, Let's get some rest. I want to hear more. Don't tell me Velvet's going to have a nightmare. No, okay, good. I didn't want another nightmare of her eating her brother or anything like that. That was creepy the first time. Look look at that fucking pose. Yeah, there was like five Aizens. There was one other Magilu that came later. There was three or four... Three, I think. There was three Velvets. Um, and then one special outfit Velvet. So like DLC outfit Velvet. Okay, what am I doing? Head to the next Earth Pulse Point. What? We're not going to talk more about that crucial information we just heard? We're not going to discuss that further? Uh. Okay, I guess. Are we... we I, where's the next Earth Pulse Point? What? Oh, okay, here we go. Hey, Luffy said Medessa let me sleep in her bed last night. She's warm for a snake lady. That's great. She's gonna help me take a bath now. You should come join us too. What? Uh, I couldn't. It's okay. I don't mind at all. Um, I... Hey, Kamoana. Did you know? Dial started to grow a brand new tail. Wow, really? I want to see? He's up at the observation tower. Let's go see! Modesta, you too! Uh, alright. But don't run, or you'll trip. It's better than what it was, at least. <sighs> Thanks, Eleanor. I appreciate it. <laughs> Having some girl trouble, my little Malik? Don't call him that. I'm just glad Kamawana and Medissa are starting to feel better. Yeah, they both still have a long way to go, but it's such a relief to see them smiling. We've got bigger things to worry about. Hurry up and locate the next Earth Pulse point. Don't be a bitch! Right. Okay. What the hell? That was so uncalled for. Must you always be so blunt, Velvet? Yeah. We must, in fact. We're up against the Abbey here, and sooner or later they'll find this place. That's true, but still. Do we go find another hideout? No, we'll keep on the offensive. We'll capture the remaining Therians before the Abbey finds us. As a swordsman, I can respect that mindset. I'm not so sure we could hold this place anyway. And we've got no obligation to. I found another Earth Pulse point. It's in the eastern part of East Gand, I think. But that's... All right. We're headed for East Gand. Where is that? Then our first stop should be Port Taliesin. Is that Velvet's home? She seemed to recognize it. Is that Velvet's home? Grimoire always looks like she never wants to do any work. But despite all her grumbling, when she starts a job, she gets it done. And quickly, too. She's frank, but she still takes care not to say anything to hurt anyone's feelings. I have to say, I, I like that in a woman. It's charming. Well, sorry if I'm inconsiderate and charmless then. But... I didn't mean it like that. You're all still so young and have led different lives. Can't fault you for being you. Well, if you're saying we lack a certain air of maturity, I might not 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 disagree. Hmm? That's for sure. It's true Lord Artorius has scolded my lack of composure at times. 
Although I do get the impression that Grimoire has been dependable like that since she was young. And it's a good impression at that. Whole Grim's been that way since the day she was born. I hate to admit it, but her combination of insightful words and deadpan expression has charmed the hearts of many a Moloch. At her peak, she had a fan club 8,848 members strong, and her dinner shows would sell out the day the tickets went on sale. Malakim came by the droves to doze off listening to her live readings of ancient books. Wow! I had no idea she was so popular. Yeah, she's even a regular feature in Who's Who Among Norman. Now that I think about it, I could see how a person could interpret her lethargy as patience and her vague dispassion as maturity and poise. Compared to her, I'm just... <sighs> Were you just trying to imitate her? <sighs> no, I didn't mean to. Whether you meant to or not, that kind of felt like her just now. I can see it in you, waiting to be awakened. That sophisticated charm. Me? Sophisticated and charming? I don't know. Try talking like her. You know how she lets her sentences trail off. This is your make-or-break moment here. Uh... All right. I think I know what you mean. Here goes nothing. Oh. What do you think, Laffy said? Do I sound like her? It feels a little off, but you're definitely doing it. I think. Aw, <laughs> oh, you don't have to grow up, Madame Eleanor. You're cute just the way you are. Oh. You stay out of this, Bianfu! When mankind's despair reaches its pinnacle, Inomi not shall reach That's out the creepy line. To all. So that song bothers you too? No matter how many times I read it, I don't see any good. That's in a it. bad line. Understanding that ancient tongue is difficult, right? Perhaps there's another interpretation? Maybe the end to all actually means an end to all human suffering, for example. That is a possibility. But we're far too lacking in material to know anything for sure. We need the other half of that book. Or some other text on the Nominat. We don't have the time to search for it. Wouldn't even know where to start looking. And don't forget that that book is just a copy. Whoever transcribed it might have made an error, too. That's an unexpectedly sharp insight coming from you. I'm an expert in errors. Ah! When Miss Makilu made me copy magic tomes for her, I did it pretty half-hearted. Ah! <laughs> Didn't that cause a lot of problems? Well, when she tried to cast a spell from one of the tomes, the spell exploded in her face. It's really her own fault, though. She told me to copy 100 books in three days. That's impossible. Oh, how cruel. Cruel is right. Which is a real devil, I tell you. A slave driver. Bien Fu? Let's go somewhere a little more private, shall we? <laughs> Miss Moggy Lou. Hush now. There's no need to worry. I'll make it a half-hearted punishment. <laughs> oh my god, another one. Not that I really care. But who ended up winning the fishing competition when we were trying to catch a Therian? Man, that was a while ago. I lost because I came away with nothing. No, it was a draw. As I'm sure everyone remembers, all I fished up were octopus demons. We were competing over who would catch the Therian. Demons didn't count, so my score was 0-2. No, the loss is mine, and I'm not giving it to you. That's not just something you can up and decide like that. In fact, by fishing up those octopus demons, I put everyone in danger. That should count for negative points. I lost. Who cares? It was all in fun. I care. Every competition must have a winner and a loser, no matter oh what. Oh my god. That's just how I see it. Yeah, I'm with Eisen on this one. It doesn't do anyone any good to make the final results murky. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Eisen, your curse would mean that the odds were stacked against you from the start. That doesn't make for a fair competition, does it? Yeah, she's got a good point. We'll just have to settle the score some other way. Thank you. What can you guys do? Play cards? Chess? What? Cards are a no-go for me. I'll just end up drawing jokers. And I can play shogi, but I don't know chess. Then what about arm wrestling? Would oh. That work? Oh, whoa. Having a demon and a Moloch clasp hands is just asking for trouble with malevolence. 
You're both adults, so why not a drinking contest? That's it. If we have a drinking contest, we'll be able to compete on an even playing field. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. I'll have the crew bring out the drinks. Well, that's one way of resolving it, I suppose. Whatever gets it done, I'm not gonna complain. Yay! If you guys are gonna have a drinking contest, you're gonna need some tasty snacks to go with all that alcohol, right? Definitely. Let's go out and fish us some snacks. No. Yeah. Let's take out the little boat. We can even pick up where we left off our fishing competition. Didn't we just figure out he can't really fish? Ugh. We were just about to finally resolve this mess. Why'd you have to go and stick your nose into it? What? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do anything wrong! <laughs> wow. Have we even played any of the game? Oh, we've had one battle. We've had one battle. Take a look at this. Yay! What? I knew this would be big. What a treasure! Yay! Okay. Um, we didn't unlock the new area, so let's... And we're still missing one thing from there. Mm. Scout ship setting sail. Oh, well. But yeah, um... At the Tales of Gathering, there were a ton of Aizens. There's quite a few Rokuros, and honestly, I like... They're really good characters, I think. I like all this the characters. This really something. No way I'd want to go to prison here, but it'd make a great hideout. If I'm gonna be left in charge of this place, I'll turn it into the best hideout ever. You're in charge? Someone has to look after this place while you're all running around. Maintaining the ships in the base, watching the prince and Medissa, keeping Kamuana company. I'll keep this place running ship shape, so that you all can focus on looking for the Therians. But those are just odd jobs anyone can do. You're a navigator. Isn't that a waste of your talents? You dolt! These are important tasks! Someone's gotta do it! We've got another navigator. But is there anyone besides me that could handle all of this by themselves? Besides, ever since I lost my tail, my balance has been off. The seasickness is killing me! That's your story and you're sticking to it? Tell the truth. You don't want to come because you're afraid you'll be hurt again. Uh, no. That's not it at all. <laughs> That was weird. It actually loaded something when we stopped talking to him. Does that always happen? Hey, get this. I was out fishing the other day when before I knew it, I'd wound up near okay. Class 4 Island. Now we can Once visit Class 4 Islands. I tried to turn the ship around, but then it got dark all around me. Was it a sudden storm? I wish. It was this great monstrous bird. Damn thing had wings big enough to cover up the whole blasted sky. That sounds like a bit of a stretch to me. You think I'm lying? Then check it out for yourself. It just might not make it back alive. We can visit Class a 4 Islands bird. now. I'm sure. Hmm. Yep, I knew it. Okay, cool. I'm glad I spoke to him. Um, let's head over to, I assume, what's Velvet's old home? Because she reacted to it. Um It's here. It's here. Okay, cool. Oh, what? <laughs> it's sour. So you've kept your sense of taste. You In my dreams I have. Nowhere else. Does that make this a dream? It would have to be, wouldn't it? After all... I devoured you. That's right. Don't you go forgetting it. How could I ever forget it? The taste of your... <sighs> Didn't I just mention her dreams are creepy? How could I ever... Like ten minutes ago? They are really creepy. Looks like the fog's rolling in. Yep. Eleanor, there's something I want to be sure we get perfectly clear. 
Um, all right. What is it? Luffy said is not your little mala. Thank you for correcting what? that. That's all you wanted to say? You realize he doesn't belong to you either, right? Indeed I do. Luffy said's his own person and not anyone else's. You you're right. Malakim aren't just tools to be used by exorcists as they pleased. I'll be more careful not to forget that. Isn't his name Good. Fee now? As long as we're on the same page. <laughs> Since we're on the subject of reminders, you haven't forgotten our little bet, have you, Velvet? You mean the 100 gold on whether I break? No, I haven't forgotten. A word of caution. People can fight against pain, but they can't fight against happiness. If you're keen on winning our bet, I'd steer clear of ill-fitting dreams. Sorry to break it to you, but all I have anymore are nightmares. The fox cleared. Good thing we didn't wind up getting lost in it. Of course we didn't. Who do you think is running this ship? A bunch of shameless rogues who are very good at shameless roguery. Damn straight. But it's strange. These waters don't usually see much fog. Look at the bird! Okay, cool. Is this Velvet's home or is I... Am I wrong? Have we... We haven't been here before, have we? This seems new. It... Oh my god, you guys, this looks like the setting of... Have you guys ever played um, Eternal Sonata? This looks like the village in the beginning. Like these, this right here, and this setting right here, this all looks like it. It's not, for sure, completely different games, but it looks like it. Um, are, there has to be like a... A cat's chest around here, right? I mean, this is a new area. But there's no place to really hide a chest, I'm seeing. Maybe I'm wrong. What about behind these? No, maybe... There's people there. How do you get... I don't see a cat's chest. Oh, oh wait. Nope. I don't see anything. Okay, whatever. What's here? It's what was that castle. breathing? <laughs> this used to be the base of operations for a rich trading family. When trouble came knocking, they were ready for it, to say the least. This is Velvet's home. Wow. They must have had a lot of enemies. It has to be. She knows a lot a about it. Time ago. Nowadays, it's just another town in the middle of nowhere. But even so, to us, it was the big city of our dreams. You know this area well. I grew up near here. Keep on going, and you'll run into a ball. My home village. Then... the Therian is... Yeah, somewhere in my village. Is that okay? No one will know me there. Everyone, Everyone died. I, I already devoured. Yep. But they were demons. Oh, there's a cat's chest. And I can't even buy it. Okay. Well, we have a lot of chat boxes, so we'll just finish up all these chat boxes. <sighs> I just love the feel of the sun on my face. I'm glad the fog finally cleared up. For days it was so thick, you couldn't see past your own nose. We're lucky a demon didn't show up in all that fog. Hmm? Eastgan hasn't had much demon trouble to speak of. Didn't you know that? During the advent, towns all across Eastgan were attacked by demons. It was Lord Artorius who saved us. Ever since, our towns have seen almost no demon attacks. Is that true? Oh, pardon me, Lady Exorcist. But if you're with the Abbey, surely you've heard about how things are here in Eastgan. Of course, demons are lurking about outside our towns. But for whatever reason, they don't attack us where we live. That sounds unbelievable. Everyone who visits us from abroad says the same thing. But this is neither joke nor lie. 
Everyone says that Lord Artorius's power lingers here, protecting our town against the demons. Whatever the reason, you're safe here. Relax, and please enjoy yourselves. Thank you. We appreciate it. Why do demons avoid these towns? Good question. Wait, did demons avoid towns before with Therians? Oh, I really have a bad memory. I don't know. Did demons avoid the other towns where there was Therians? Um... Um, I can't, I don't know the answer to that. We've missed one! We missed one! No! We totally, oh, we'll go back and get it. Um, right? We missed that one. We haven't seen that one. I thought we already fought that one. I could be wrong. Haven't fought that, haven't fought that. Okay, we need to kill these. We killed that one. I can't believe we are missing so many. We were doing so good. Um, I will go back and fight that optional boss. Have to. Let's see here. We have a couple chat boxes over here. I know you guys can't see it, but there is a map with all the chat boxes. Good day. How are you liking Taliesin? I bet you're surprised not to see any exorcists. Yeah. I've never been to a town like this. The exorcists stationed in East Gand often leave to help deal with problems in other parts of the world. Then again, few are stationed here to begin with. Are they on another of those expeditions now? That's right. They're currently in North Gand, helping put down a group of dangerous demons. Even though they're gone, we still have regular exorcist patrols stop by. We feel safe enough with them. Maybe they should just move the capital to East Gand. Of course, I know there's no way that would happen. Ha ha ha. Okay, um... Okay. Here's another one. You're travelers, right? How are other towns doing? Is the demon blight as bad as they say? Demons are attacking cities all the world over, and the demon blight is spreading like wildfire! It's not. God damn it, Moggy Lou. terrible. Living in this town, I almost forgot about the demons. There hasn't been a case of demon blight here since the advent. Nothing much has changed over the past three years. Yeah. This town's the same as it's always been. You've been here before? Mm -hmm. Many times. Really now? Wait, there is something that changed. The prickle boar meat. Oh, what about the it? Prickle boar meat? Yep. It's gotten much easier to get your hands on high quality, tasty meat. The hunters are probably able to do so well because they don't have to worry about demon attacks. Well, I hope you enjoy your return to Taliesin. Have fun. A town without demons. Hmm. Could be there's a Therian at the Earth Pulse Point in Eastgan that's devouring the malevolence. Uh, what do you uh, think? That would certainly explain things. Uh, but does that prevent from demon attacks from outside oh, demons? Damn. I forgot today was the day Nico was coming. Because there are demons, they said. Quiche. They just don't uh, attack. That's too bad. I wish she'd just open up a shop here. You'd think it would be easier than always having to make the long trek from a ball. I heard she doesn't want to leave the village because she's waiting for her missing friend to return. What are you talking about? A ball's nothing but a ruin. What? Well, you're a morbid young woman. Sure, the place was hit pretty bad by a demon a few years ago, but it's not like it's abandoned. Many of the villagers were hurt, but thanks to Lord Artorius, nearly all of them survived in the end. What? It certainly is. In fact, there's a girl from there, Nico, who comes here once a week to sell things. Just yesterday, my husband sent medicine to the general store there and got some juicy prickle boar meat in return. That can't be right. I no! Hand, I Nico was our it? friend. We killed her. What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. What? Whoa! Velvet said a ball was wiped off the map, but it sounds like someone's been coming from there with things to sell. Our friend. Did you think a new group of settlers moved in? No, it was Apparently our friend. Apparently, that merchant Nico is someone Velvet knows. She's dead, though. She said something about Artorius having saved the village. Do you think it had something to do with the Earth Pulse Point? I can't say. 
We've heard too many conflicting things. This feels wrong to me. Really, really wrong. We won't find the truth by wandering blindly in the dark. The path forward is our only way. Right. It's not like we can turn back. But Miss Mogulu, what if there's darkness ahead too? Then we'll take a nice nap together. Forever, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Death pact. Okay, um, quick question. How, how do I, there we go. Um, can I zoom out? Yeah. We still haven't explored all of this. What is, why is this, why are these exclamation points? Are these because of the other quests, side quests? We, and what is this over here? And this, what, what are, and all of this? Okay, um, couple things. Uh, one, we saw them die. We saw their bodies all over the ground. They had turned from demons back into humans. Um, dude, I, what? Uh, I'm, I'm so confused right now. I am so confused. And there's a hoverboard right up here. Right? Where's where's my hoverboard? Where's my hoverboard? Where's my hoverboard? Where is it? Ooh, chest. Ooh. Hi. Ask me what this town's known for. Answer stairs. Yeah. The I ADA hates it. <laughs> yeah, the ADA You're really hates it. And the weather is beautiful and everything, but doesn't all this climbing make life here hard? Not at all. I walked the stairs here since I was a child. A little climb like this is nothing. Everyone raised here has a strong set of legs and a sturdy back. You no ADA people here. Back medicine here. No way, no how. What? Okay, that was such unnecessary information. There's my hoverboard. Yas, yas. Yes. Okay. Um, over here. That festival over in Habal sure was fun, wasn't it? It sure There's... was. Oh, sorry. That probably sounded place. awful. And the food there was, was a festival I'd there. To go back sometime. I loved the prickle bore meatballs. Nico's quiche was so good. It was quiche. a master quiche. This Nico must be a great cook. I'd love to try this master quiche. <laughs> Where did you learn a joke like that? Anyway, Taliesin's <laughs> anyway. festival is coming up soon. We've got to show the folks from Abal a good time. Yeah, I'm going to help my uncle catch lots of tasty fish for the festival. What do you think you'll catch? Uh, pickled mackerel, tuna rolls, oh, and duck stew. <laughs> Those are all the names of dishes, silly. And a duck isn't a fish. It's a bird. I swear, you don't think of anything but food. Nico's quiche. Nico's quiche. We talked about that in the very, 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 very beginning of the game, like, literally 50 hours ago. A ridiculous amount of time ago. What the fuck is going on right now? That was the last of the text boxes, so I'm gonna save. I'm gonna turn the air on. Because it's uh, at least... God, how hot is it in here? What's up here? Um, it is... It's at least 85 degrees inside my apartment right now. And it's only getting hotter. What is... What is... Oh, we could... Oh, okay. We can't do that right now. Okay. Is there anything up here? Um, yeah, but it's only getting hotter. I do want to play some more. I have work tomorrow morning. Um, literally 11 hours from now. I'm not playing cards with you, bastard. Um, what the hell? Oh, okay. I am very lost and confused right now. Um, but I really do want to play some more because I am a little baffled and shocked. Do I- can I- afford to play for another 45 minutes I think I can let's see it'll be midnight when I finish I pr but I still have to run the air a little bit so I don't die uh, of heat uh, I'll see if I can play a little bit 
right now. If not, it'll have to wait until tomorrow. I had to postpone filming, um, playing, because I couldn't film because of the neighbor's issue. But, um, jeez. I'm just finding all sorts of shit. Let me save here. I don't know if I'm going to play some more tonight. I'll see how quick it takes to cool down this room. If it's quick, I'll play some more. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.